Commissioner of Police Ellison Greenslade is speaking out after a violent altercation at a public school almost turned deadly this week. Good evening all, I'm C.S. Gatterly and welcome to the Bahamas Tonight, the weekend edition. The top cop is addressing concerns regarding gang culture in schools. Tonight, Cleopatra Murphy tells us why Greenslade believes the discussion surrounding the incident has been blown out of proportion. Despite widespread commentary that Thursday's brawl at Government High School that left one student in critical condition and two others injured was gang-related, Commissioner of Police Allison Greenslade says that is not the case. Instead, he says the students are wannabes who thought it would be fashionable to say crazy things where the end result could have been deadly. Here we have children in our schools that know each other very well in the very same school. And if they had been allowed, possibly would have killed each other. That is very sad. And yes, it stemmed over silly gang slogans, gang talk. Someone screams out some silly name of a gang, the opposing side screams another name, and then you have a big fisticuff. Commissioner Greenslade says there is no need for alarm over school safety after what was a spontaneous outburst got out of hand. He says police continue to be proactive at various schools, adding that despite the incident, gang culture has not overrun schools. This nonsense about schools being um, overtaken uh, is, is absolute rubbish. We've got very mature, intelligent uh, principals and teachers in schools. We will continue to give on a daily basis our support to the schools, and I think we're going to be fine. While there has been intense criticism of police and school officials, many from concerned parents who rushed to the school on Thursday after rumors spread across social media, Greenslade said he is pleased with how the matter was handled. We are satisfied that the principal, teachers, guidance counselors, everybody did everything correctly. We've had uh, assessments post the incident, and I've directed the chief of detectives, Mr. Clayton Fernando, to take charge of the file. So that file is at CDU, is going to be given meticulous attention, and uh, um, I'm hoping to get an update soon that will point uh, clearly to who those perpetrators uh, are, were, and um, I'm not going to ignore what they did. Commissioner Greenslade says the student who was stabbed and critically injured in the altercation is stable and will be fine. He says the others involved received just minor injuries, and as the investigation continues, he adds that he is thankful that there was no loss of life. Cleopatra Murphy, ZNS Network News.